Ew, I'm stuffed. I can't eat another bite. Or another damn bite, either. Man, you sure do eat a lot. Don't you ever worry about, like, choking? I digest the bones. I never get worried. You don't? Wait, what about Fuyuhiko? Is he really alright? Yeah, he's fine. I ate him. <laughs> <laughs> There's no body, right? No body discovery announcement. <laughs> I was so, so concerned. I could not sleep at all last night. Plus, if his face and Monokuma's paws, I'm even more concerned. Uh, if only I could have tended to his wounds somehow. I wish it wasn't so useless. Well, I don't think you guys should worry about it. Do you just forget everything that happens when you eat? I ate your arm. I knew I recognized you from the cannibal <laughs> tribe! <laughs> Damn no, no. it! Can I have your head? Like, no! <laughs> I'm not giving not you like head. <laughs> <laughs> was that a come on? That was terrible. I've heard better. I got a belly full of food. I'm all set. So... Leave the rest to me. I'll question Monokuma and avenge for your ego. Oh, man, also, he, he's not even dead! Stop pointing at me with your ghost fingers. <laughs> what vengeance? You just want to test your skill. Well, yeah. <laughs> she flat out admitted it. I still owe you a punch, you know. I'm sure you can, I'm sure you do, and you can take as many as you like. I'm gonna punch your dick. Okay, okay everyone, can I have your attention, please? I, it creeped me out so much because, <laughs> like, like, I know a writer you were just ad libbing that, but that is in character for Nagito, and it creeps me out how much of a masochist he's become. <laughs> what did he say? No, like the, the the whole like you can punch me as much as you want. No, that's in character for Nagito, and Nagito creeps me out now because he's like, Man, I hate myself so much. I want you guys to absolutely abuse me. Oh my god, he's a 2020 person. Choke me, daddy. Oh god, no. Oh, what do you want of me? What do you want? Man, the fun mode's over now, thanks to you. Do you want me to toss you into those flames? Did I guess we're in the mood? Yes, I gave her a deeper voice for a second. <laughs> Jeez, don't treat me so harshly. I did my very best today, too. Hey, who the hell are you? We're talking about something important. Go away. Okay, I'm sorry. Wait, no! I don't think I'm the treat like an outsider! Just what do you want? What do you mean by I did my very best? Ah, you finally asked me. Well, let's get on defeat another Mono Beast. How do you like me now? I worked hard, didn't I? If you defeated a Mono Beast, that means... That's right! I ran circles around it! It was really easy to defeat. I'm running circles around ya! That's right, you're now able to visit an yet another island! So let's all live happily ever after with each other this time, okay? Okay? No more getting tricked by Monokuma, no more thinking about leaving this island. Let's all live together peacefully as best friends. New island, huh? Maybe... Yeah, I think I made her pissed for a second there. Maybe now we'll finally find it. A way to get off this island and go home. Did I convey that properly? <laughs> yeah. Also, I love how she, she, she's like, No more thinking about trying to get off the island, Hajime. Ah, a, a possibly a way to get off the island. <laughs> no, that's the only thing we have. That's our Hajime? one and only hope. What did I just say? You can't read my thoughts. Are you guys thinking about leaving the island, even though I said not to? More importantly, Monomi, what happened to Fuyuhiko? I'm not leaving till you tell us. Oh, uh, huh, Fuyuhiko? Um, you see, I don't really know. Miss Sonya, can't you see it's a waste of time asking her? 
In the end, she's just Monokuma's ally. How do they keep thinking that about her? Dick punch. Well, as soon as you stop thinking it, it's going to be true. I mean, I get, I guess so, but like, she has not done anything to indicate she's working with Monokuma aside from taking part in his comedy routine. Which was kind of forced on her, honestly. You're also part of that mysterious world enter organization, aren't you? That's the organization that brought us to this island, right? Since you're the one who brought us to this island, that's gotta be it. Sorry, my characters t I ended up not talking much, so I tuned out for a second. <laughs> hey, I don't know if you're a rabbit or a pig, but just what are you planning? This is a great opportunity. It's time you finally fill us in. Um, what a dilemma. But that's the one thing I can't say. Julie, this is a judge to your middle management. She ran a again. She's always like this when things get inconvenient for her. Oh, well, who cares about Monami? More importantly, she mentioned a new island. What should we do? I do not think we should be exploring when Fuyuhiko is in danger. But we must move forward, no matter what despair stands in our way. I will punch you. That's what hope should be. What hope? You always say that just before you lead us into a trap. Jeez, you're seriously just as annoying as Monokuma. Hey, Nekomaru, let's tie him up again. Absolutely. I was about to add lit something very long, but it may be a little too much. Do it. No. Do it, I'm not so worried about Fuyihiko, but is it really okay if we stay here and do nothing? Isn't it better that we do what we can? What we can, huh? Alright, get the rope. Actually, just a thought. Wouldn't he like being tied up? We would also like it because it would mean he's not talking to us anymore. Do you want me to tie him up in your room? I will move him to your room. <laughs> you can't get in my room. You can't get in my room. Monica will let me. Monokuma will let me. No, he won't. Hey, Monokuma, can I bring the idiot into the no. other idiot's room? Ha-ha! <laughs> <laughs> you guys are having Damn a sleepover. It. Bye! Damn it, this is a bottle of shit. She's right. Let's try to find a way off the island before he comes back. Then he doesn't have to come with us. Hmm. You are right. Fuyuhiko will not recover any faster if we just stand around and do nothing. <laughs> yeah. I agree with Miss Sonya. Imagine that. Then it's decided. Let's go explore and search for new hope. I heard the movie's so what, over there. So wouldn't it be better to just beat up the rest of the monobies and search all the islands in one go? If, it, if a strange looking rabbit can beat one, it should be easy for us, too. We don't have rainbow circle powers. Maybe you don't. Hey, don't think about doing anything reckless. Anyway, let's begin. Let's open the way to a hope filled future with our very own hands. Can I turn him into a suitcase? What would you store in him? Hope. Despair. He's already full of it anyways. And by it, I mean shit. After all that, I feel like we're doing exactly what Nagito wants us to do. In order to prepare for it. exploring the new island, we left the restaurant. I don't know why I can... Why is it so much easier for me to get into their voices after, even after like a day? Or a week? A week and a half? I don't know. So is, is this the point where we should be get, doing the thing, Rhino? Oh, it leveled up. Oh, do you want to check the pet? Yeah, I'm checking it. Nope, nothing. Nothing? That's weird. Well, it's only every 100 steps, and we didn't go that far. Hang on. I have this dialogue for these. Hang on. Judging someone for their crimes. No one has the right to do that. That's exactly it, huh? Hiro. 
the killings, the class trials. It's all so messed up. Well, Pekka Pekka's. No, That's not Pekka Pekka's. There we go. Pekko. You weren't a tool at all. You didn't realize it until it was too late. She did make a huge mistake, though, to be fair. Like, what are you supposed to do? Smack her, smack up no one over the head? I don't know. Probably. <clears throat> My voice is starting to hurt. Too much Necromaru. From ad-libbing ad too many of his lines. Too much Necromaru. That's what she said. And by she, I mean... I can't think of it. Were you about to say Hyoko? <laughs> No, I was Do not say... ship! Do not <laughs> ship! Whoa, whoa, whoa! What the fuck was that? Oh, if you press Q, it automatically takes you to the next entrance. But does it count towards? I don't think I don't know if it counts towards steps. Try it. It does not count towards steps. Okay, so I'm not. Okay, gonna... first, first, should we talk to people? Yeah, because we ran past someone. So. Nakamura. I'm gonna I'm gonna go all the way back and then and then talk to people. I wonder what our highest level we can reach is. One million, over nine thousand. I don't know. Okay, so this is where we started. Do you want to check to see how many people are on this? Quick. Yeah, actually, that's a good good point. It's just Nekomaru. Just Nekomaru. That's weird. You got tired of not being included. <laughs> and there's, to there's, to nobody an, there's nobody anywhere on First Island, so... Also, I just realized, the people who have died make a, a perfect square in that thing right there. Well, huh. a rectangle, I guess, but like... So, who would be next then? Uh... Well, did I try to fill in the square, or what? Because it could be Akane and Chiaki. And then it would be like a weird X. Mm. Or if they want to make two lines, yeah, it could be Sonya and Fuyuhiko. Anyways, what are those events? We never clarified that. Well, I, right, right said he'll bring know. it up when, when, when we need to know. Okay, Two of them are in the same are at the same time. Bobble bobble. Hey, you're not going to the new island, Nekamaru? I'm worried your is gonna do something reckless about those. I'm going to guard the gar the bridges for a while. I'll leave you guys to explore the new island. Yeah, got it. <laughs> Nekomaru's quite good at taking care of people. I wonder if that's a habit of being a team manager. You should get better rest. It's not healthy to yawn so much. I, I woke up like right before we started doing this, so. Monami no, I thought. I, I assumed that was Hajime. <laughs> <laughs> Monami was right. The Mata Beast that was blocking this bridge is gone. Then, if we cross this bridge. We should reach the new island. With a feeling of hope in my heart that overshadowed any lingering fear or nervousness I felt. Yay! I crossed the bridge that led to the new island. And that was the first time I died. So this is the third island. The ambience is completely different compared to the previous islands. Look at that. The residences and ruins are all in shambles. It barely feels like a resort. Oh, so it is supposed to be a resort. Not just that. There's definitely no sign of any people here, either. Why is there so much bloom? It feels a little dangerous somehow. It might be better to proceed cautiously. Oh god, we're slightly zoomed in. You can see the pixels. All right, let's what pixels? Where? On, on, on Hanjime. Alright, so we're gonna have to do a loop, alright. Oh. Is it hospital? I'll go right. Hospital. Who's there? 
Gundam is here, I believe. You, you have to keep voicing everyone. I see no one. Looks like this is the hospital's lobby. The ambience feels like something out of a horror film. I definitely don't want to be a patient here. Oh, hey, look, Monaco. Ah! Hide your bee! Holy shit! <laughs> I'm sorry I scared you. Don't worry. Even if you have a heart attack from getting too scared, this is a hospital after all. The moment I have a heart attack, I'll definitely have something I need to be worried about. But this hospital is a little strange. I can't find any doctors, nurses, or patients anywhere. Just as I thought. Here, too. Damn it. There's nobody here, either. What's going on with this island? Uh, I noticed all the medical supplies are still here. I'm not sure they'll be useful unless we check them. Ah! That means I need to go check them, right? Understood. I'll go ahead and do that in a flash, so please don't hate me! He got frantically hey, she left behind a syringe filled with air. <laughs> he got frantically ran to the other end of the dark hall and disappeared, making a huge fuss as she left. I guess that means it's okay to leave her, this place to her, huh? And then Gundam. <laughs> Look at the list. There's a list on the thing. I'm looking for Monokuma's first. Oh, that's fair. Bulletin. There's a paper on the bulletin board. Apparently it's a hospital notice. But there's no one on this island, so who is this notice written for? Not gonna read it or anything. You're not gonna read it? Yeah, really? that's exactly what I was thinking. Hmph. Of all people, it seems I've immersed myself in nostalgia. This place is similar to the place where the mark of the defeating, sorry, the mark of defeating the devil was carved on into my body long ago. The mark of defeating the devil? Do you not need a scar? I have said too much. Forget what you heard, for your sake. He was the one who volunteered that information, and now he's already telling me to forget it. Do you want a scar like mine? You want to know how I got these scars? Hospital hallway. The patient room and consultation room are beyond this point, right? Well, it's fine if I leave it to Mekon. She's gonna die. He's gonna die. He's paper thin! <laughs> Alright, moving on. But, he was, wasn't he? Oh, I was cracking my neck. So does the spare go up? While it's while they're um, music venue, the Titty Typhoon. After the it's a music venue. Apparently, it's like a club, I guess. <laughs> oh, hey, we're in the parking lot. This building with its gaudy and tasteless neon lights obviously looks suspicious. I can't say for sure. There's no danger. I should cautiously check what's inside. Hey, if there's music in there, do you think we'll be able to hear it? Maybe. What if it has lyrics? Do the voices translate to lyrics too? Start, oh, start singing, I guess. Oh. Yeah, ho! What the? I'm not a hoe. Yeah, you're a hoe. Why are you shouting that I'm a hoe so suddenly? Don't surprise me like that. The truth is so overwhelming, I can't help shouting out. Because this is a music venue, right? Yeah, it looks like it. I never expected to find a music video. I can't help feeling excited. I never expected to find a music video. I can't help feeling excited. Uh, did I just say that twice? Did I just say that twice? Are you okay? You're giving off a weird vibe. No, I'm totally fine. Oh, no, I'm totally fine. How did I say that twice again? How did you say that twice again? You don't look very okay. Man, with a video like this, Sabuki has no choice but to lend a helping hand. This is just the beginning. Yahoo! I'll invite everyone that feels this wonderful feel to feel this wonderful feeling. Including you, ho. It's like the smug feeling you get when you explain something with an elaborate metaphor no one understands. I feel like I understand, but at the same time, I don't understand. Oh well, if, you should you, have. if you've really taken a liking to this music venue, I'll leave you to investigate it. Leave it to me. Like, let me bite you. 
I'm ti I'm tired. I should hurry up and go check out another place. Chomp. You're not a cannibal, I hope. Chomp, chomp. What a splendid place, Hajime! This must be the fabled Disco! Disco? It is where hip youngsters wear feather fans and tight clothes as they dance their go-go's and lambadas. The fuck? I have no clue what Sonya is talking about. It made sense to me. There's a stage. I'll probably uh, never uh, have a chance to be in the line. Uh, Surveillance camera, I don't need to look at that. So this is the baton lighting's control panel. Apparently, you can control the baton lighting with this. Somehow, it will be a murder weapon. Staff door. Yep. Storage room. It says staff only on the door. It's probably some sort of storage room. Might as well check inside. Alright, we actually get to go inside. Oh, wow. Wait, what's that yellow thing? The camera. No, no, no. In the middle. Whoops. The pixels. There's a lot of different instruments here, including drum sets and guitars. Looks like there's stage design stuff too. Paint, stage lights, wallpaper, and curtains. I guess there's nothing special here we need right now. I'm still gonna look at everything. Is there a Monokuma here? Hey Rhino, it's a step ladder! There are two, two step ladders. There are two step ladders next to each other. This must be required for stage design. It might even be used for stuff like film projects. So is there a Monokuma here or not? I'll look around in a minute. You can see your whole body in this huge full-length mirror. It's probably used for checking costumes. With a mirror this big, it'd be easy to check how you look. I see no Monokumas. That mirror just has a still image on it that annoys me. <laughs> uh, well, let's check the instruments. Sticker. Or the stickers, I guess. There's a lot of stickers with the venue's logo placed here. It's like they made a bunch of them and had too many left over. It feels somewhat depressing. How so? There's a lot of different musical instruments lined up here. I know about guitars and Can drums, you play the banjo? but there are also instruments and machines that I've never seen before. Machines? What machines? The, the stuff on the bottom. I imagine. Ugh. Shelves. He's talking about amps, okay. There's carpeting, wallpaper, even different paints. It's probably stuff used for livening up the stage design or live performances. Is that everything? That's everything. Yep. Hey, at least you found some step ladders, fine. Yep. I'm gonna take another look around here in case there was a Monokuma or something. I don't see any. Nope. All right. Huh. I love how they just drop it down. And drop it down. Yeah, there's nothing. He no one comes here either. Look at that ship off the coast. It's. Cr it looks like it's destroyed. Yep. Motel. Ooh. Hotel, motel. Oh, hey, okay. It's a small building with guest accommodations and a parking lot. This is supposed to be a motel, right? I've seen them before in movies, but it's my first time actually seeing one in person. Wow, what a rundown motel. It looks pretty unsanitary, too. It's just like Hajime's house. You've never seen my house. Oh, I didn't know you were here. You don't stand out at all, so I didn't notice you. Anyway, this place is seriously run down. It's like the perfect home for minimum wage workers. That's a bit harsh, don't you think? But we gotta make sure we check it out thoroughly. It's possible that there might be a clue here. If you think so, why don't you go inside and look around instead of standing around here doing nothing? You're probably too vulgar to get this, but there's a saying, praise a fool, and you may make him useful. Should we praise you, then? What's that supposed to mean? Akane was checking out the inside. After I gave her a little praise, she got really excited about it. 
A dumbass like her is pretty rare, so we gotta make sure she's treated well. For what Fucking attitude punch. is this extreme? I can't really take it personally. Also, I like how the mm. sign is backwards. What's that machine Whoops. on the left? Hmm, I, don't know. Uh, I think it's a car. Yeah. A rundown, rusted, and running car somewhat abandoned. Maybe it'll start up if I keep staring at it. Get Kazuichi. It might be missing the motor. Again. It's a bunch of similar looking private rooms. The insides probably look the same too. It's dark and slightly dirty. There's no doubt that a room like this would be a perfect in a crime movie. If it's just to stay the night, the cottage is good enough. Well, that's, ev oh, that's everything that's here. So, I'll talk to you again just in case. She may be a dumbass, but Akane has value too. So if that's the case, someone like me needs to use her really well. Wow. I'm iffy on her. I'm, I feel, I'm getting kind of the same vibe from Hyoko that I get from Fuyuhiko in that act, acting like a dick all the time, mostly to hide the, like any quote-unquote weaknesses of actually having a heart. Gonna rock down to Electric Avenue? There are a bunch of street booths filled with electric appliances at the back of a narrow alleyway. Machines and other parts are cluttered together on display. Definitely seems fishy. But wait. With this many machines, we could probably find something we could use for two-way communication, right? Looks like it's best if I search around here. Jesus! <laughs> Does that... Yeah. Yep, that counts. Sombrero! Hola. Every time we find one, why not have to now say hola? What is this? There are so many machines. Just by looking at them, I have no clue what they're used for. Uh, I don't really recommend that section. Hmm? What do you mean? Well, I'm pretty sure amateurs won't really get it. All that stuff there, it's all machines used for stuff like wiretapping or recording secret videos. Looks like there's some ancient-looking surveillance cameras, too. Machines used for recording secret videos? Ah, hey, don't get it twisted. I just have mechanical knowledge of these things. I've never actually used them before, all right? You are gonna put them in Sonya's room, weren't you? No one said you did. Hey, speaking of surveillance cameras, we're being constantly videotaped and wiretapped by Monokuma, right? Like, I'm kind of jealous because what does he see when he's watching Miss Sonya? I was joking. He says he's never used these before. If I let him be, he's the type of person who will eventually use them. Can we destroy them? Oh, wait, no, we can't, can we? Television corner. There's a lot of CRT TVs lined up here. They all look really old. Looks like they're not designed for terrestrial digital broadcasting. Not that it matters. Looks like the TV signal isn't reaching here anyway. I'll, I'll actually talk to him now. Are you serious? Oh, are you shitting me? What happened? Thought you'd be happier about being surrounded by so much machinery. Oh, I don't say stupid things. I'm the ultimate mechanic, you know. Of course I'm happy when I'm surrounded by machines. Then you should look happier. Dude, try to understand how I'm feeling. I have this unexplainable conflicting feeling about whether or not I should be happy. I can't understand that kind of feeling. But why? I sort of can't. Why do you feel so conflicted? There's all this machinery lined up here. Aw, oh, damn, I want to take them apart. I want to dismantle them and look inside. That's how I usually think, right? But I know now's not the time for me to do something like that, and that's why I feel so conflicted. Is wanting to dismantle normal? Hell yeah. It's like if you have the hots for a chick, you want it to... Okay. And you want to check out her bone structure, right? Like her ribs or... What? What? <laughs> That's not normal, that's a pretty acrobatic sex fetish. Seriously? I see. So wanting to see a chick's bone structure makes me a little perverted. Pretty much. Yeah. <laughs> I guess. Also, Chiaki's here. Of course, it's probably going to be video games here, right? There's a lot of electric appliances in this mess, including home appliances and acoustic equipment. All of these look old. Do they even still work? 
Microwave! Why? Terror Terror would have never used this old microwave. He would have proudly used the latest kitchen equipment and cooked the world's tastiest dishes. With those dishes, he would have made a lot of people smile, but it's no longer... Sadness. Cell phone corner. So this is the cell phone corner. Let's see if they don't what get reception. Even with all this variety, they may as well be paperweights. Because why not? In the cell phone corner. For really bad. It's it's for dismantling Nokia's. <laughs> Somehow, it looks like she's fishing things out of the pile of electrical appliances. Shiaki, what happened? Are you looking for something? Yeah, I was wondering if there are any game consoles in here. Sometimes old hardware is treated like junk. Ah, so that's what you're doing. I already have a TV in my cottage, so it doesn't have to be a non-portable device. I'll settle for anything. If you do find something, let me know. I'll help you carry it back to your cottage. Yeah, I will. But I don't want to play video games for a while. I'd rather not be reminded of the previous incident. I wonder if that arcade machine is still up. Oh, right. Various desktop and laptop computers are arranged in a disorderly manner like a pile of oversized trash. Though they're a little old-fashioned and run-down, they all look like they could still be used. I know. If we can connect to the internet, we might be able to call for help with these. Why'd you say that out loud? As soon as I thought of that, I grabbed a random laptop, pulled it out of the pile, and turned it on. I tried to see if it would connect to the internet. It's no use. Looks like it's not connecting. Well, there's no way it'd be that easy. Just when I was about to give up, my eyes noticed the strange icons arranged on the desktop. Usami X-File. What is this? Without thinking, I clicked that strangely named icon. It's a document file. Based on the format, it looks like it's some kind of report. I scanned across the words displayed on the screen. About the biggest, most awful, most tragic event in human history. This horrendous event originated with some students of Hope's Peak Academy causing a revolt. The students of the Reserve Department were dissatisfied with being treated differently than the Primary Department and began to fight the Academy. At first, the dispute was confined to the campus, and hopes were high that it would settle down someday. But things quickly escalated. Behind the scenes of that rebellion, a huge authority was exerting its influence. Eventually, it spread like an infection, provoking riots in various parts of the world. It was unlike any previous act of terrorism or coup d'etat. Coup de... coup de... whatever. It seemed to have a much different purpose. However, no matter what we assume, we simply cannot apply reason to this subversive movement. Nonetheless, the destruction is not chaotic or disorganized. It is both, pur is both purposeful and malicious. Therefore, it is a subversive movement full of despair. Hope's Peak Academy became the origin of the incident and was forced to put an end to the long history. As the students who survived, they were to eat as a lesson in despair. It's no use. Words are too garbled to read beyond this point. So is that talking about what is the last this? game? Hmm, how normal. It's not normal like a dog barking. It's such a normal reaction that it's actually quite novel. Hey, can't you react with more gusto? Don't you know how very, very important this scene is? Could it be? Were you the one who created this file? Mind. What makes you think that? Because it's obviously the only thing I can think of. Because, because, it's not because. The biggest, most awful, most tragic event in human history. Riots in various parts of the world. And Hope's Peak Academy getting destroyed? It sounds like something stupid you'd make up. And? And? What's Hope's Peak Academy's reserve department? Never even heard of that before. Huh, really? That's weird. Of all people, you should definitely be the only one who knows about it. What do you mean? 
I guess you forgot about it, along with the memories of your school life. So it can't be helped. While we're on the subject of stupid things, the file said something about students who survive. Is that... Is it referring to us? Or the rest of that file is... Hold on a sec, you guys! Just... What the heck have you guys been talking about? It doesn't make any sense. Movies with no images, music with no sound, novels with no words. Bears without a point. that truly don't make any sense. So you can't say something this simple doesn't make any sense. Who cares about that? Just answer me. Who are the students who survived? I wouldn't know an important, sto an important story like that, because the only thing I'm good for is being you. You're failing. Damn it, he ran away again. Hey, Hanjime. Don't worry, it's gonna be fine. I'm sure he's making all that up. That's it. That's definitely it. Well, we've looked at everything here, then. <laughs> 